Hey, what's going on? So today, I'm going to be playing Call of Duty, and I'm going to be talking with you guys about some stuff. Um, the ear infection is mostly away. The sore throat is gone. It's all the way gone. It's been gone for, I think, a day or two, maybe. And I'm really happy about that. I think it's been gone more than two days. I think it's been gone four. I'm really happy about the sore throat being gone, because I'll... Because, um, what everybody eats, but, um, I drink water a lot throughout the day because I usually have PT at the end of days or, um, exercise I do by myself, so I drink water, um, <clears throat> today I'm going to be talking to you guys about, um, YouTube, so not ma not mainly like the YouTube company, but um, I like YouTube because it allows the viewers to give commentary. Not commentary it allows the viewers to give. Uh, I forgot what the word is. Like um, not comebacks, but I forgot what the word was. It's like where you give, you give them from not information, but opinions about what to play or how to play a game or what to do kinds of games. I like I like it because of that I like YouTube because of that because on like Netflix you can't do that. You can't tell creators, hey, I think you should use this kind of editing software if you want it if you want the video to be better. But, um, <clears throat> you guys can tell me what you guys want to see me play. That's what I like about YouTube. It, it allows the creators to have a connection with the viewers, and the viewers a more in-depth connection with the creator, <clears throat> and not just one way. So, you guys can tell me if you guys want... Roblox or Call of Duty or any of those other games because I have those games So you guys can tell me what games you want to watch want to see me play And it's not just oh I want to play this game and you guys can't tell me any other thing to do it's Hey, you guys can, you guys can give information and helpful backing to whatever games you guys want to see me play. That's what I like about YouTube. <clears throat> I picked a horrible spot, but um, I have, <clears throat> and I can get other games on my phone because a lot of games are free. Um, I have, of course, PUBG. I have Call of Duty, Mario Kart, Roblox, um, Clash of Clans, Adventure Capitalist, uh, BitLife, um, and a couple other games as well. Mario Kart. <clears throat> I have those types of games. And you guys can tell me whether or not, what, what kind of games you guys want me to watch. Because I've been noticing on the videos I've been making that you guys that watch my, if I watch my, um, videos, you guys don't tell me if you guys want to watch, want to see a different game, or if you don't like a game in general. If you guys don't like it, because, and I've been noticing that through, like, some videos have more views than the others. Like, um, my very first PUBG video, you guys liked a lot. And I don't know if it was because, um, I had Elijah and Orion in it, or if it was random searches, or if you guys liked the commentary that <clears throat> was in that one. 
what made you guys laugh and that kind of stuff because if it was humorous I could be humorous wait give me a sec I can be humorous because I'm usually funny to my friends and my brother so I could be humorous but I don't know about being humorous myself so I could get um Elijah on or Ryan on and we could be we could make jokes and stuff like that. But YouTube gives it gives a connection to each other so that it's not one way like I've been saying. I've said like twice already. Um and I'm gonna tell you guys what games I'm I won't be ever be playing. Well right now I will not be playing Fortnite. I will not be playing that game. I will not be playing a few other games like Creative Destruction because it's the same. It's pretty much the same thing. I have played it before, but I will not be playing. I don't want to play it right now. <clears throat> and there are other games I can play as well. Um. Yeah, that's really what I want to talk about. Is Cause I can play different games and I like the reason why I don't want to play Fortnite and Creative Destruction and other games like that is because I love realistic games like Call of Duty. My whole family loves Call of Duty. We love the game. Um, so when it came out on mobile, I was excited. But um, I like realistic games. That's the main part of me. And the part that likes um, non-realistic games is the part where I appreciate uh, I appreciate what creators of video games do. I appreciate that they put time and effort, money, and even um, sweat into what they do. They put a lot into what they do. And what they want to achieve. So that's what I like about those games. And they take. They they take a chance on the game. And they they set it. They give. Well how do you get a gun? No no no. There was no way. You could get a gun up there. There's no way to get a gun up there. First of all. There's there's no possible way. But, um, back to what I was saying. It gives. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I like that he that they take a chance on an unrealistic game and do what they want to do, like how Fortnite did it. Um, they took they took a step out of what um, Battle Royale games was. They they kept the concept of what it was, but they took out the realistic part of it. So they took out like. How PUBG is it's a realistic game, H1Z1, Hunger Games, um, and one more, I forgot what it was, but, sorry, they, they took a chance with the game and it paid off, hundreds, millions of people like it, yeah, I like that people do that, that creators take a chance at different games, and that they can, and that they put time and energy into it to be happy, happy competition, excitement into different games. Now, I'm not gonna land here anymore. I'm not gonna land the first place I see because I've died twice to it. But um, that's what I like about. That's what I would like about those types of games. It takes a step away from. Normal games. Like, um, I'm liking Days Gone. It's a type of game where it's like a zombie game, but it has different kinds of zombies and different ways and different things about it. It's a game where it, it shows you around what would happen if, if he, it, it, it's based around a person looking, mainly looking for their wife that they think 
they thought was dead, but then thought they weren't, and then thought they, and then thought they are. That's what I'm into the game, and it counts how many days that you in the game that you that your character has been alive. Right now, I'm on seven hundred and seventy-six, I believe, or around eight hundred. <clears throat> but I find that pretty interesting. The game would do that. They would take a game developers would do that. They would take time and energy to have a number thing. I know it's not that difficult to do, but it takes time and energy and data to actually be able to do that. Everything in the game, it takes time and energy. And I really like when creators, they all, they, um, I really like that creators, they make sure they get every little detail about the game. So when creators have, like, where is this person? So when creators put details into like the graphics of the game, the sounds of the game to make it perfect, I love that because they put time, energy into that kind of game. <clears throat> so, and I want to play different games, but um, I do not have the... I don't I do have the time, I just don't have the patience. Because if I were to play game record games on the PS4, I can easily learn how to do it. I'm a quick learner. But um my friend and Elijah can teach me, but it's annoying because I can only play on the weekends a certain time and it would take editing, it would take and I couldn't play how much I want to play. I would have to compact in everything and all that other stuff. And the game, certain games that I play, it takes a while to finish. A lot of games take a while to finish the actual game. That's why you see game uh, gameplays with 30 or more videos. Like um, I'm watching a gameplay series. About Fallout 3. I know it's an old game. I but I like the like, concept of it. Um, <clears throat> about Fallout 3. And the person has 90 videos. He's, he does have DLCs. If the DLCs for the game. But without the DLCs. Those would only make up maybe 15 videos. So there would still be around... 75 videos left over that are just the story gameplay Not 15 maybe 20, but it's still a vast majority amount of videos that are based on the main story gameplay So when you see game when you see game playlist that are only um Like like a uh, jacksepticeye's death stranding. I like it. I like that but it's only 12 videos because he compacts it all. He does it. He does editing a good way to where you don't notice he edited it or he has edited it or if he even has edited it, edits it to, to the point where it's compact, but it is two hours long. So he might have not edited it. Edit it. I do not know. But. Um, with games like that. It takes a while. To actually finish the game. And. Um, that's what I like about story games. But. I will not be able to. To record them. Because. I have the patience to do it. But I don't have to pay the patience to be able to do it on my family's um, PS4 because the kid, the others would want to play, the others would be annoying, everyone would be screaming and yelling in the videos and I don't want that for you guys. So yeah.
Sorry guys, I'm back. Um, I thought I had something. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that's why I wouldn't be able to actually be able to play those types of games. I will be able to soon. Well, not soon, but once I have enough money to buy my own PC, gigabytes, and RAM, and stuff like that, I would be able to, but not right now, at this current moment. Um, yeah. Hopefully one day I'll be able to do that, but I will not be able to do that at this current time. Until maybe 18 once I get a job. And if you're wondering, I plan on being an, a military engineer. Um, going to college to, in the military to go get either, I'm thinking civil engineer degrees, engineering degrees, either civil engineering degrees or mechanical. Both will be extremely beneficial if I get both. It's perfect, but that'll be a lot of time. But if I get both, that'll be perfect for future jobs and stuff. Um, yeah, so. But, yeah, so at this current time, I would not be able to do that kind of stuff. But, um. So yeah, that's why I want to be able to play like main story games. Um, I found it funny that one of my videos, I think all my videos, um, I looked at what they categorized me as, and they categorized me at my games as people and blogs. Now I wouldn't really think of myself as a blogger because bloggers um usually do that blog about themselves only and in their real life not like games but um I think you have to do this at an extent to be actually um categorized as a gamer but I, there's one thing I noticed, I saw on different YouTube videos that um, YouTube is making changes and rules. Now I'm all fine with changes and rules, except when it... Now, I, I won't be ever using YouTube as money. That's never going to be happening. If it does, great, whatever. It might be good money, it might not be good money. But, um, I saw that it was targeting, it said, um, that it's taking away ad revenue for, like, YouTubers that target only kids, and it takes, like, you know, it'll take away 60 to 90 percent of the ad revenue. I find that... Uh, not, I wouldn't say, I, I would say, oh, I find that really dumb. I find it confusing on why you would take ad revenue of people trying to make, uh, posting videos just for kids, because in my opinion, it's more difficult to make videos for kids than it is for adults. Because with adults, you can just do humor. You can just make plain humor with curse words, stuff like that. But for kids, you have to have... You can't do anything like that. You have to have special jokes that kids will understand. You have to have... Um, you have to have time, patience. Case, I guess. Oh, he's most likely throwing a grenade. 
Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, but you have to have time and patience to do that kind of stuff. And I find it stupid why they're taking away... They're taking away that from them. So, I, I just find it really just weird. Um, I, I, I'm not weird, I just find it really dumb that they would do that. Like, there's no, because they, they, they have more, I would, I would say skill level to be able to only focus on what kids are able to watch. Like, what kids would watch. So they wouldn't cuss. They'd make appropriate jokes. I find that more struggling to do. With a lot of people. I find that more struggling to do. Than to make content. How as big YouTubers such as. PewDiePie. Um, Jacksepticeye. Markiplier. Like how those people do it. Instead of just doing it. Like how. Uh, if you guys know. Um, popular MMO. He does not curse. He makes. Uh, he focuses. Mainly making videos. For children. Like uh, appropriate. Stuff like that. Mainly appropriate. Sometimes not. But he focuses on trying to do that. So I don't understand why they'd be taking, they are taking money away from people that do a more challenging thing than actually people that can just easily do what they usually do. So I, I don't understand that personally. It's, it's YouTube, they can do, they can do whatever they feel like doing, but honestly, it's... It's a dumb choice to do that. It, it's dumb to make rules that harm people that are try that are working harder than what others are usually doing. Now I wouldn't say that those YouTubers that don't focus on children, I wouldn't say that they're working any less than regular YouTubers. They might be working just as hard with more editing, with more um, stuff like that. But I personally find it more difficult to make videos that are just, just for kids. I find that more difficult than, hey, F you or stuff like that. I find it more difficult just to make, than to make jokes. That are inappropriate and that everyone will laugh at. So I don't understand why uh, YouTube is just wanting everyone to be this, the same. I understand the. Um, yeah, I understand that this is their company; they can do whatever they want. But it's it's confusing how they they want. Um, a certain group of people, and how they're making it almost impossible to do because, um, if you do it one way, if you do it the child version way, you get a lot of your money removed, a lot of the ad revenue, and that's how a lot of YouTubers make money is ad revenue, and then, um. And then the other way is you're in a pro is you might be inappropriate on a certain scale because like how Jack Slipika used to be he used to be he used to cuss a lot and make inappropriate jokes now not so much but um that's how it used to be for him and for Markiplier PewDiePie was the opposite until now. What I've seen. 
it might be different, I don't know, but, um, and then they, they get, they get, um, stuff taken away from them because they're being inappropriate, they're getting demonetized for their work, they're getting demonetized for, for their work and how they do it, stuff like that, so it's very confusing on the line that YouTube wants for its company. Not company, but platform. So it's it's very confusing on what they want and how they want stuff to be versus how people want it to be, how they need to get money and stuff like that. So I know it's it's their company. People are gonna be like, "Oh, it's their company. They get to run it how we how they want it," but they are just. They're not the main payers of the creator's work. They they can always go to a different source to upload their content, like Twitch. But they still get money for the ad revenue and stuff like that. So, it's, it's YouTube is just restricting its own self to where only a certain group of people... Are able to upload. As I know they want their platform to be. Appropriate on a certain level. But um. It's restricting its own self. Because they they can upload their stuff on. Other. Other platforms. Like Twitch. Um, and a few other ones. I forgot what the other ones were. But. The main one would be Twitch, obviously. So the YouTube is just restricting itself more and more and more, and eventually it's just gonna it's gonna get to the point where big YouTubers are gonna be annoyed, are gonna be extremely annoyed by all the by all the rules and um, the rules and restrictions that there are. So, eventually, it's just going to go to who will be, can stand being annoyed the most. That's what it's going to turn into. That's what I feel like it's going to turn into eventually. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, that's what I feel like it's just going to turn into. So... That's that's what I feel. Don't know how you guys feel, but like I said earlier, um, you guys, I want to know what kind of games you guys want me to play. So if you are watching this right now, type below in the comments. Um, I care more about you guys, uh, commenting, than subscribing. I don't care if you subscribe, if you want to, completely free. Um, if you want to, it's completely completely free, you can do that if you want, I don't really care if you do, if you want to, go ahead, but, um, I care if you guys, more if you comment, than actually subscribe, because I want to know what you guys want out of me, because I don't want to just be playing PUBG and Call of Duty the whole time, and then sometimes Pokemon, um, and you guys not liking it. So type down below in the comments what you want. And subscribe if you want. Like the video if you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, that's fine. Go ahead. Uh, you can go to a different video. I really don't understand why people dislike videos. There's no reason to actually dislike a video. Because you just, you're hating on a creator. That put more time and energy into something than you actually did just watching it. So if you dislike it, you're just wasting your own time. And you're being a hater to the creator. I guess that's how some people like it, but I just find it annoying. But um, if you like the video, uh, if you like my channel... The videos I make and the contents I produce. You can subscribe. 
I post, I try to post daily videos. I, I, I post every week. I post almost every week. Uh, I, I at least do, I at least do two videos a month. That's why I know I do. Some people would say differently, but I try to do it every day. But if you liked, if you liked, you can do whatever you want. But remember to comment down below on what games you would like to see. So uh, that's it for this video. Hope you guys, hope you guys liked my, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.